My name is Commissioner Gordon, uh, Gordon Williams, producer, engineer. The thing that most people know me for is Lauren Hill's Miseducation. I was the engineer, mixed, recorded, and mixed it. I was also the production supervisor on the album because during those years I was a uh, and &R. I was a staff producer and A&R for Columbia Records. Um, I also did uh, Amy Winehouse's first album, Frank, as a producer and engineer. Um, I've worked with Steven and Damian Marley. You know, I mixed um, Damian's Welcome to Jam Rock, and I've worked on his um, pretty much all of his albums up to this new album. My first ins inspiration came through listening to music. You know, I grew up in the Bronx at a time when hip hop wasn't on records. I don't know if I'm dating myself, but hip hop was in the street. It was something that we heard, it was something that we did, something that we lived. And people like Grandmaster Flash and DJ Cool Herc were my original. Um, I would say uh, inspiration, you know, which led me into now wanting to listen to music more and find out about music and, you know, starting as a DJ, that those two turntables turned into a four track, which turned into an eight track, which turned into a 16 track in my bedroom and eventually a record deal and, and then that was it. My current setup, you know, I've gone from the large format desk, you know, I had a 9098, I've gone through, you know, having an SSL down to a pre sonus desk and working in the box, you know. It's all about your ears at the end of the day. So now I do do a lot more work in the box, but because we still record live, you know, you still need good microphones, you still need good mic pre. So I have, I'm, I'm, I'm more of that, I would say, on the recording side, but the mixing is transition, transitioning more into the box. But my current studio is set up in New York on 34th Street at the Manhattan Center where they have two large format studios which have um, VR, knee VR um, desks in each room, the Law Cabin and Studio 7. So sometimes we go into the room and you know, having the ability to break it out on the board is still a nice thing to be able to do. And you know, a lot of the records that I've been known for in the past were done in more traditional you know, studio setups like that, whether that was the Hit Factory that was in New York or Sony or Chung King and working with tape. You know, so we still like that at times, but I must say that recently it's pretty much been mostly, mostly in the box. I really like a lot of the Waves um, plugins. I like some of the of, of Maserati's things, you know, but it's primarily Waves, the Waves bundles and the, uh, you know, Altiverb and TC, and TC thing. I can't say a day passes where I don't hear maybe a Lauryn Hill record that I've worked on or an Amy Winehouse record that I worked on, which is kind of, you know, it's almost surreal at times because you don't realize that until it happens. It almost feels like sometimes someone doing this on purpose, like I walk into a store and it comes on, say, yeah, I did that record, you know? So rewarding in the sense that, you know, I won, you know, I've, I've won seven Grammys. So, you know, for Lauren, I did win, um, I think it was three, three for Lauren. And I would have to say her project, you know, the time that I spent with her and working with her probably has been maybe some of the most memorable times. Right now, uh, my band, White Tiger Society, we're just finishing up the album and we're looking at a 2017 release. We're getting ready for some promo dates and um, you know, finishing up a couple of features in the studio. We have Stephen Marley on the record. We have some exciting new artists from, from Africa. From, uh, we have Saudi Soul from Kenya and uh, Senna from Ghana. And um, yeah, we're finishing up the mixes and we're really looking forward to hitting the road in 2017. No